Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to implement Conway's Game of Life simulation in LabVIEW. And this is just one example of how to implement it using event-driven state machine. So how does it work? Having a grid or matrix, basically each cell has to constantly be shaking what's going on around it and can either survive die or come to life based on the following rules so rule number one a cell will survive if it has two or three neighbors around it number two a cell will die if it has less than two neighbors or more than three neighbors and number three a cell can come to life if it has exactly three neighbors around it so this implementation has two options you can either manually define initial conditions or you can select any of the preloaded patterns available. On the left, it shows the simulation and on your right, it shows the rules being applied. So for the live view part, I want to show you how it was implemented using the project and how we separated the controls, patterns we're going to use, the sub BIs, and the main BI that we're gonna be working with. So in the main BI, we're gonna have an event structure to control the GUI buttons and everything, and also the states, all the states that we're gonna be using and moving uh, through the state machine. So it will go through the sequence, it will try to, so we started, we initialized everything, clearing everything. We enable the buttons, and as we enable them, we click the start, and then we're gonna go through just basically clear everything, erase all the memory matrix and everything. So, the next step is to check the cell, all the neighbors around it, and figure out what the status is for all of them, and then. We're going to apply the rules based on the number of neighbors that were active and that were found. Then I'm going to update my colors and memory so we can figure out what's going on and figure out how the rules are being applied. So I need to go through all the rows and all the columns of the matrix and keep on moving through the state machine. I added some predefined patterns that you can select and run them as you want. Those are basically type definitions and those matrices. So I hope you enjoyed this video and just to give an idea what can be done um, using LiveView, how to simulate this, it's just, uh, it's just one of the examples of how to do it. Obviously there are way too many ways for implementing this. See you next time.